my channel. Today I have a monthly May message for all of the Aquariuses out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Aquarius out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Aquarius, let's go ahead and dive right into your monthly message. So Aquarius, we are starting out with happy, happy, DNA karma, okay, and mirror. Okay. All right. So Aquarius, I want to point out that I feel that what is transpiring for you this month is the DNA really speaks to me a lot about, um, our certain, it's like, okay, like these, energetic upgrades. Um, what I love here is that in this DNA, you see the snake, which is the Kundalini energy that starts off in your root chakra and goes all the way up through each one of your chakras. I do feel that you're going through a DN, uh, DNA um, upgrade. And I do feel that with DNA, um, this is sort of like, um, it's it's an upgrade from on a cellular level that you ultimately won't get to, um, that you won't, you won't understand that this is being upgraded. Okay. DNA, um, especially when it comes to Kundalini energy and karma, it's that, you know, there are aspects of your soul that entered your primitive physical self long ago before you had begun to take form. Okay. The DNA that you inherited from your parents has a physical component and it also has a soul pattern that comes together in the creation of who you are. So with that being said, I feel a lot of times people sort of get this misunderstanding of what karma is and it's important that you recognize that because of that DNA, you are predisposed to follow um, karmic, uh, to follow whatever karma dictates of this patterning to some extent. And as you evolve in your consciousness and in your awareness and you expand the light of that awareness, you then are able to make choices that shift and modify this ancestral design. So when I'm seeing this, what I'm actually seeing and recognizing here, Aquarius, is that you are doing a lot of ancestral karmic uh, cleansing and healing and leveling. And, and, and when this happens, you will often experience a lot of mirror moments. And what the mirror really reflects and what it says is who or what is triggering you. So it's important that you become aware of, of what transpires as you go through this leveling up of your DNA sort of healing itself. And, um, because the more that you elevate, the more consciously aware that you are, the more you are be, you'll be able to sort of heal that ancestral wound and, and elevate your lineage per se. Okay. So I feel that this month it's really about you, um, not really putting on a facade of being completely happy. If there are moments here, um, Aquarius, where you feel like, you know what, I'm not happy, happy. I, I feel, you know, tired. I feel exhausted. I feel whatever it is you're feeling, this is what you're needing to become consciously aware of who or what is triggering you to feel that said specific way. Because understand that whenever you're triggered by something that is a karmic, um, genetic type of ancestral wound that is predisposed within you that you ultimately are needing to heal. Right. And that's so that it sort of that 
experience in and of itself comes out of that lineage and comes out of that ancestral wound, right? So whenever we say that you are healing ancestral wounds and you're, you're going through ancestral, you know, healing, that's ultimately what we are referencing when a spiritualist really say that. And so I feel this month for you here, Aquarius, it's going to be very important that you sort of become aware of, of what is transpiring within you, how you are feeling, and um, sort of bring it to light so that you can heal that, so that you can truly reflect and change um, the DNA that is currently um, with that is currently predisposed to you. So we're starting off right off the bat with the eight of swords here in the reverse position. So I feel that, you know, you're feeling, I, okay. So I feel that this month, it's going to be a lot of restrictive energy. I feel like you're going to feel like you're being beat up. You're going to feel really down. I feel like there's a lot of mental fog going on. And I want to point out that, remember what I said, it's okay this month for you not to wear this mask of being happy all the time. I feel that um, you need to become very aware of how your thoughts really affect you. And I, I feel that you're not being completely and utterly honest about that. The Seven of Swords is about... Um, it's about, you know, deception. It's about thievery. And uh, for me, it's about trying to be overly confident that you think that you can do it all on your own, when in reality you can't. So it's about learning to, to be aware of when you need to ask for help and be aware of what your true intention is, right? Because we can say that we want to heal something all day long, but if we're not really willing to face the truth of where the wounds are coming from, like if, if we're ignoring it and we're telling ourselves, we're lying to ourselves that we're not a part of the problem, then we're not really going to be able to heal that, right? Because whatever intention that we set is the intention that will be created. So I think it's important that you see things for what they really are. Be honest with yourself here, Aquarius. Be honest and willing to face the truth and recognize that, you know, if you're the one that's preventing yourself, if you're self-sabotaging yourself, if you're deceiving yourself, then you have to call attention to that. You have to bring that up and you have to be willing to, to work on that. You have to be willing to, to acknowledge how you play a part in your own experiences. We now have the eight of pentacles here, and this speaks about, you know, mastering oneself, mastering our skills, something that we're good at, right? And because the more that we become proficient in that, the more we will be able to obtain the rewards from that, right? And I feel that this month is really a learning experience for you to really learn how to become better at who you are and learn to not sabotage yourself, learn to not, you know, deceive yourself and being willing to face the truth of something. Because I feel like when you learn, you'll be able to make better choices, okay? Now, the magician speaks about being the creator. The magician is about utilizing all of your resources and taking action towards it. And again, the queen of swords is about cutting out all of the BS, right? Being willing to recognize that, you know what? I'm not perfect. And I recognize that I have to be in, I have to make intellectual choices here. Um, and I have to utilize my intuition and I have to sort of rise above anything that, that hinders me, especially emotionally that hinders me from making those conscious choices. The one thing I want to point out here is that, you know, you have to be willing to see your own reflection truthfully and authentically. Because I think a lot of times we only see the bits and pieces that we want to see. We don't clearly see everything as it is. And I feel 
for the heart of your reading, it's really saying that you have to be willing to partake in your own um, healing process. You have to be willing to uncover all of the areas in your life or all of the things in your life that you need to cut out, that you need to heal from and let go of. Because I feel that is ultimately what is going to bring you that, that balance or that sense of serenity that you are ultimately um, wanting or that you feel you're being led towards, okay? Next, we have the Page of Swords again. So what is the Page of Swords? Um, the Page of Swords is about contracts. It's about um, facing all of, you know, everything head on. Okay. Here's what I want to point out. And, and I, and I want to take a pause for just a second and focus on this Aquarius, because I feel this is important. In the beginning, I said that it was okay for you not to put on a facade or to put on a mask and pretend that you were happy and that everything was okay. That it was okay for you to be vulnerable and to see things exactly as they are and recognize how you are playing a part in um, your experiences, right? When it comes to DNA and going through ancestral healing and ancestral clearing and, and going through all of that, we have to remember that when we come into this life, we have soul contracts with certain specific individuals in our life, actually with every individual in your life. You have a soul contract with them. You contracted with that individual and there are certain things that that individual agreed to, to help you learn in this life and understand that, you know, that I guess, I think what they're really wanting you to understand here, Aquarius, is that a lot of times when we experience hate or when we experience pain that someone inflicts upon us, we often get into this role, this victim role of, well, you hurt me, right? But here's what you have to understand. You made a contract with that person. That person agreed to hurt you so that you could learn the lesson that you needed to learn. And when it comes to a page of swords, it's all about what you're learning and understanding that the experiences help you become stronger in who you are so that you can overcome another experience, a more challenging experience so that you could be um, prepared for it. I think it's important that you recognize here, Aquarius, how powerful and strong and courageous you really are. You have to be brave in order to face your own flaws, your own shadows, and be willing to say, I'm at fault. I, I, I make the same mistake, right? You have to be willing to do that. But again, it's about recognizing that we're, we're slowly progressing towards who we are right? I feel the one thing that you have to ultimately understand here, Aquarius, is that you are unbecoming who you are not. You are uncovering who you are. And so this is the reason why we go through pain, because we have to shed that pain in order to uncover who we truly are. The full card really speaks about taking a risk and, and being willing to go on this adventure of uncovering more and more of who we are authentically and being willing to work towards that and learn, right? So that means that we have to go through uncomfortable things in order to uncover what we're truly capable of. And I feel a lot of times when we go through those experiences, we sometimes want to um, hide from those experiences, right? The illusions um, often get the best of us and it prevents us from taking further action towards our dreams and our desires because we're too busy um, feeling sorry for ourselves and, you know, allowing ourselves to be tempted into staying in this restrictive energy or staying where we are because it's what feels safe. It's, it's what makes me feel comfortable, right? But the thing is, is that 
you you get the choice, right? You can't blame someone else for your misfortunes or the things that occurred in your life because they didn't make the choices that you did. Now, that doesn't excuse people from mistreating you and misusing you, but ultimately, everything is based off of your specific choice here, Aquarius. So when it comes to, you know, you learning what you need to learn in your life and taking action towards that, you have to be willing to ask yourself, you know, what, what am I willing to let go? Am I going to be enslaved by, um, my experiences? Am I going to continue to be tempted to make the same choices, knowing that it's only going to make me feel that much more restricted and not really truly living authentically as to who I, I know I am, right? Or am I going to ultimately kind of let that go, right? What I want you to understand here with the devil card, because this is your ending card. So your devil card is, is one about choice. But again, right? In the traditional tarot, the tarot card is seen with a man and a woman being chained at the neck at the foot of the devil. Okay. And what I want you to understand is that they all, they, the, the chain is not really tight around their neck. Okay. They have a choice. They can literally pull that up off of their head and walk away. It's their choice. It is the same thing here with where you started, which is the eight of swords here in reversed. She is looking at the mirror and in the mirror, she feels like she's trapped. Like there is no way out of the situation that she is in, but it is only an illusion. It is in her mind. Her mind is making her believe that she cannot get out of the situation that she's in. And this is the same situation, right? So understand that whatever goes on in your mind, it is a mirror. It is mirroring to you what you need to break free from. And it's ultimately your choice. So Aquarius, this is your message. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye guys.